a woman named Janet Wolf, again, one of these unsung backstage players. She had a job as the executive director, long time, of the New York City Housing Authority Symphony. Who knew there was such a thing, but it was an orchestra comprising um, residents of New York City housing projects, uh, workers in the housing department, and some professional ringers who played in the projects all over the city. But she was also just one of these people who had been everywhere, done everything, knew everyone, and she had been a recurring real-life character in the New Yorker's Talk of the Town columns under the heading Our Friend Janet. And so every few months, for like 20 years, readers would read Our Friend Janet did this or that. And so the Times put it on page one, and if you think about the lead of a conventional, oh, that it's John Doe, who was the corporate executive of the Acme Corporation, died yesterday at his home in Manhattan. He was 99. Well, that's a great big yawn. It's the way we were all taught to write obits. Here's how we started on page one of the Times, the obit of Janet Wolf. The headline is Janet Wolf, 101, a gleeful gadabout who got the town talking is dead. And we start so about Janet. It's discursive, it's gossipy, and we never knew until a generation ago that it was possible to write obits that way, and that's why it's become the best job in the paper.